The existence of the movie industry on the South Shore has been a big boom to the local businesses, all the way from Hubbard's through Chester, uh, into Gold River, on into Mahone Bay, uh, Lunenburg, and all the way down to Liverpool. When Nova Scotia's finance minister announced that the government was looking at scrapping the film tax credits, protests poured in from the film industry, and others not directly employed by the film industry were also fearful of how the loss of the film industry would affect their own business. Uh, in the case of Haven, there were hundreds of people here. Uh, they all shopped locally. Uh, it was a boost to the drugstore, the gas station, uh, the hardware store. Certainly our business benefited from it. Uh, the gift shops, the art shops, all benefited from having uh, Haven in the area. It's helped our business a lot, having that many people around. They've uh, rented our space three different years. Their crew comes in and patronizes our business, and they buy gifts for themselves or gifts to take home, or, you know, there's uh, all gifts for people they work with. It's made a significant difference to our business. We were in the process of renovating the house, so we were able to rent the place out to them, $1,500 a month. It gave us this influx of money. We were able to finish up the shop down behind it, little things like this. I mean, these guys are all putting money into the community. Uh, it's created jobs. It's created a big boost in uh, the revenue for a lot of the small businesses that are here in the area. They credit Nova Scotia residents only. There's quite a vigorous process to determine if someone is a Nova Scotia resident for tax purposes. In addition, uh, one of the things that's happened as a result of the movie industry coming into this area is it's brought outsiders who would not normally have come here into the area. We had a group of 30 come from England for a party that we hosted for Haven here. And we had people uh, who flew in from Germany. They flew in from all over the U.S. They came in from uh, the U.K. just to see the Haven uh, being shot here in the village. So it's been a real boost to uh, the local economy. Um, many of the, the merchants have been able to survive what would otherwise be uh, pretty desperate times by getting this shot in the arm from the movie industry. To take it away, uh, for some businesses, might just be the kiss of death. Uh, the, the government needs to uh, uh, look at what's happening in rural Atlantic Canada and instead of taking things away, look to put things back in. Uh, it'd be a real shame to see it uh, disappear. In the four years that Haven was filming here in Chester, not to mention like the financial spin-offs for Chester, but personal financial spin-offs for me from serving past and through three, four nights a week. Amazing. Uh, I would suspect that the huge majority of productions would go to another province where they will get that money and make their show there. The Ivany Report came up very strongly about the need to keep young professionals in the province. Film industry professionals say that their industry is primarily staffed by young people. People who come here and they film in our province are amazed at how world class our film technicians are here in Nova Scotia. And it really doesn't make any sense to me why we're threatening an industry that employs good paying jobs that are going to young people who are paying taxes in this province. Well, it's stupid how many people are employed and are trained up and are now professional and know what they're doing in that industry. It's like saying to half of the welders in Nova Scotia, never mind, we don't need you anymore. Uh, you'll have to go where you can find employment. Oh, gee, maybe that might be Alberta. I've been able to benefit from the tax credit from early in my career when I was making short film. And, and then more, more recently when I made my feature film Blackbird, I was able to um, you know, really bring a lot of money to the table which allowed us to hire a lot of local people. I was in the business for years and I'm no longer in the business, uh, 10 years or so. Um, but I still benefit from them because I do commission work for them, they buy my artwork and they rent some of my altar bits and pieces that I have knocking around here. For Haligonia.ca, I'm Malcolm Calloway in Chester, Nova Scotia.